Hi, good morning. My name is Brother Mikey Kua, and I am here in the Brother's house at Bella Salsa Bell. And we're here at the, for the Cooking with Bro. And with me are two young men. Can you introduce yourselves? I'm Gerard. And uh... Okay, and we are here for, uh, for today's episode. We are here to bake some banana muffins or banana cupcakes. Okay, so obviously, if we're going to bake banana, cup, banana cupcakes, we are going to need bananas. So, here are the ingredients we have bananas, bananas here. Okay, it's possible it, it's uh, overripe, close to overripe. Okay, yeah. it releases more flavor. All right, we have cooking oil. Okay, cooking oil. Want to sip this? <laughs> All right, we have four pieces of eggs, okay. regular sized eggs. All right, and then we have sugar, two cups of sugar. Okay, here. White sugar. We have two and a half cups of flour. Right. Flour. Alright. I wash my hands, don't worry. We have um, a teaspoon of salt. Okay, a teaspoon of salt. We have here one half teaspoon of baking powder. Another ingredient. We have baking soda. Two teaspoons of baking soda. And then, for, for added um, texture, we have chocolate chip and walnuts, right? So, shall we begin, guys? Okay, let's begin. Okay, so, first of all, we need to have the cooking oil. Okay, cooking oil. So, Jack, can you place this in the mixture? Okay, gently. Alright, the eggs will go here later on. Oh! Baking trays, we can remove the baking trays first. Okay, let's have more room. Alright. Let's remove all the of this equipment. Uh, Alright, so uh, for you, let's uh, can kindly uh, use this or uh, sift this first. Sift the flour. Alright. You don't have to sift. Okay, so the oil is here. Yeah. Alright. So we have the sugar and we have eggs. Okay. So while it's um, shifting the sifting the shoot uh, flour, the the gap is gonna break this and then um this. the technique here is to do this alternately, okay? So you put sugar and then I'll put an egg, alright? In the mixer, okay? So let's have it in slow. Um, just scoop it and then just pour it. Okay. Right? So we have a Let's have it in slow. Alright, it's turning. So make sure that we finish all the sugar. Okay, so we just scoop the sugar. Oh, sorry. The sugar. Bananas. So, who wants to get this hand dirty? 
Do you want a long story or a short story? Because I have a long version and a short version of that. The long one? Okay. Um, I think we need a free day retreat for that. And after that, later, okay? Anyway, okay. Now we're done with the mixture. Okay. Right. Mm. Did you felt that turbulence a while ago? Yeah. Yes. There's more coming up. Soon will be bonus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this is our mixture. Okay. Yeah. mixture. Now we're going to place them in this uh, baking tray. Okay. So we have this uh, little um cupcake mini tiny little box okay. So then you help me out. You okay. just place one um then make sure that's only one. Okay, some of them are very sneaky. They try to get so attached to each other. You don't want to waste um, this topic um, line. Yeah. Good. Okay. And now, um, well, what I usually use would be this. This one. Uh, get a spoonful okay, and make it even. Alright? And take off the excess. And carefully, carefully place them in one of the one of these holes. Make sure it does not touch okay, the top, the any of the cupcake lines or even outside. Okay. And then you scrape off the the rest of the butter mix. Okay. Yeah. So what? Um, half, half. You just fill half of it. And then, uh, because when you make it, it will just rise. Okay, so there. So can you do the rest? Okay, so then it goes. Okay. okay. One, um, one, one, what do you call it? Uh, one set, or one baking, um, of all of the same ingredients, uh, can make around 24 cupcakes. 24 cupcakes. I'll just check if there are some sneaky topic ones so you can do it. Right, we can wipe. We can wipe. We can wipe. No, no sorry, sorry. Right. We can wipe. Okay. So, um, going back to your story. Oh, oh yeah, sorry, sorry for, um, for that. Okay. Um, it all started, um, well, the, long, the long version started when I was your age. Fourth year high school. Um, I, I grew up in Patate City, okay, the province. So me and my barcada, my, my friends in Patate City, we applied for colleges. So I, I applied to the NSU and the Mayo, USD. Right? My classmates also applied on their own. And then once while we're talking, said one of my classmates said, uh, guys, what if we did not pass any of our colleges, uh, of all the exams? Yeah. Um, what would happen? I mean, you know, we don't have any college. Uh, and so one of our friends uh, jokingly said, Fine, let's go to the seminary. You know, let's just become priests. Uh, that started, that started the question, the, the why not? That big why not? Why not? Um, our family is not that religious. I mean, we work out of it, but all we do would be just uh, going to Mass every Sunday, you know. Uh, we don't even have regular prayers or even regular rosary at home. So uh, I started doing that when I entered college. Luckily, I was accepted in ASU, okay, in the Rasal University. And then I, I kind of looked for an organization that would help me um, deepen my relationship with God. So I found Student Catholic Action. And um, that organization pretty much like that as well. See, they have this uh, service components, they do outreach programs, they have weekly prayer meetings, and um, that that kind of fostered my relationship with them. So my whole college life is, um, uh, I'm really active in that uh, organization. And 
During my third year in college, when I was thinking of what to do after college, I'm already thinking ahead. Said, um, I don't really want to go to work in the corporate. I don't feel like I don't feel like um, going back to Batangas and continuing our family business, even though I'm a business major, a business management major. Um, so, so you know, uh, weird, weird point. Um, eventually, one of one of the brothers, one of the aspirants, yeah. emailed me. You know, it, it's it's really um, it's really out of the blue. Um, he has a classmate in in Greenfields that is my thesis mate in college. So he emailed it to his batchmate, and then this batchmate of my of his emailed it to me. He thought of me. Oh, I think he might be interested. So he emailed me uh, an invitation for a meeting program with the brothers. And then when I received that one Wednesday evening, I immediately signed up, and the rest is history. And how are you? Hard to become a brother. Um, realistically, there are there are challenges. Well, not everything is a walk in the park. There are challenges. There are things that you have to let go of. I mean, like if you're really attached to your family, and if you go to the brothers, then you have to slowly have to you know have some sacrifices. Commitment. Commitment is very important. How did they react to your family? Oh. Uh, Initially, they did not really like it because I came from a Chinese family. Yeah. It's a, a traditional Chinese, so it's like, you know, with all of this Chinese culture and yeah. customs. Of course, my parents wanted me to continue on with their family business. And then when I said I want to become a brother, of course, you know, there's some uh, something that triggered in them and they said, no, don't, you cannot. And so they did all their, that they can to to dissuade me from from, ent from entering. But I, I, I fought for it. I said, this is what I want to do in my life. I want to, to serve. I want to, to, to be close with the students. And then this is where I found my my fulfillment, you know, uh, my, my passion. And so, um, I don't know, my, my, my dad even, um, even said that he won't, he won't, um, he won't go to my acceptance, uh, my box. But in the end, um, he can't resist, so he, he, he did. That's me. To, to my surprise, I, I was already resigned to the fact that he will not and he will not be there for my box. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm very happy. And now they have accepted it. Yeah, they have accepted that I'm a brother. So I'm, I'm happy. Even my father. Who, Usually he does not recognize me as a, as a brother. Now he talks to his friends. Oh, this is this is my son. This is uh, my and he's an assault brother. Um, you know, with that part, oh, it, it gives me uh, a sense of acceptance that my family has already accepted me when it is life that I have chosen. Is it your son? I'm I'm the middle child. So I don't know if that's part of the middle child syndrome. Okay. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Being the black sheep. Right? <laughs> yeah. I have an older brother. Thank thankfully I have an older brother. Because he's the one who's now taking charge of the same is the same Steve? Um uh, no. <laughs> Unfortunately not because I am Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my um my um internationally called name. <laughs> that's my um Coding. Coding student. Okay? Where did okay. you study before? Study uh, high school. High school, yeah. High school in Batanga City, St. Bridget's oh, College. Oh, oh. So you moved to Manila mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. college. For college, yeah. Alright. So the mixture is already in the baking tray. So we have the option to place chocolate chips here. Okay, wants to place just place on the three of those, and then you can place also uh, walnuts. This is optional. Okay, so okay. chocolate chip. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Yummy. Oh, okay. Don't worry. That will be done. Shall we crush the walnuts, or do you prefer like that? Anyway, okay, we prefer it. Alright. So, here is 
the different uh, variations. So there's chocolate chip, there's uh, walnut, and then there's the basic banana muffins. Okay, so we're gonna cool this in the oven for 15 minutes um, under 195 degrees Celsius or 380 degrees Fahrenheit. Right? I guess sir. Let's go. Alright, so now we're going to place this in the oven. Make sure to take, to take care because it's very warm. Uh, Alright, so we'll wait for 15 minutes. Alright, so 15 minutes is up. Let's check if our banana cupcakes are ready. So make sure to be safe, use spot holders. Let's check. Is it okay? Yeah. Ah. It smells and looks really good. Mm, yummy! Yeah, yeah. Alright, wow. Oh, brown, look at that. So, here are the cupcakes. Congratulations, yes, job well done. Wow, look at that. Mm. I wanna eat it anymore. I wanna eat them all yeah, so yeah. excited. Okay, so let's go and uh, serve this. Alright, so this is the finished product of uh, the banana cupcake. So congratulations! Congratulations! Yes, Woo yes. Yes. You'll be able to successfully bake this banana cupcakes. And so that, that's it for this episode of Cooking with Bro. So uh, once again, I'm Brother Mikey Kuwa. Um, see me in Facebook, Mikey Kuwa FSC. Instagram, uh, Life of Apple Pie. Right? And uh, Twitter, BRMKYFSC. Okay? So... Uh, and I'm Jao and I'm Gerard Guerrero. Alright, signing off. Who wants to get the chocolate chip cookies? Me, a I do. A muffin. But you know, all of us get the chocolate chip. Okay, I'll try the walnut. Who oh, put the walnut? Who placed the walnut? Oh, you, you try the walnut. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.